Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome to another day of LST Dream Emulator. 186. Wait, what? Yeah, we, we passed the halfway point. I just got dumbass. Monday. Wait. Oh, shit. No. Stop that. Um. Yeah, we're already on the halfway point, dumbass. Man, we're so happy that we got the, the car crash to have. Oh, yeah. That's what come back to me. It's lost long ago, but it's all coming back to me now. I'm going to walk into this wall here. Just to see what'll happen. So, did you wanna. What? I'm just thinking out loud. Do you wanna. I kind of want to make that, that video play again, hey. Yeah, sure, I mean, it's one of those interesting things. Yeah, do you want to, like, go around and do everything again? Like, everything? Mm, I don't know. I don't know about doing everything, bro. Let me do this in the last episode. Yeah, but this time I actually want to have it. I'm gonna like... Yeah, like that. Um... You mean all the all the natural world stuff, all the Kurdish stuff, make everything spawn again? Yeah. Well, especially oh there you go, booyah, that was fast. Especially the ones that hang on, watch this movie. Okay. Oh. 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 That's. That's not what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting the dream to just to end. Um, especially the, the, the ones that are rare that don't happen that often. You also gotta find that, you gotta find that good map of the overworld, because there's so many more things on the overworld that, that aren't shown on the map you've got in front of you here. Hmm. What are you, what, like, what? I don't know, well, for starters, I wanna, I wanna see that bell video again. And we can go check out the taco drum that's... That stops making noise when you get close to it, and uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Look at the the ghosts in the warehouse and the violence district, and uh, the the weird, weird things that happen uh, in the natural world in those canyons. Uh, uh, okay. I don't know, dude. What are we gonna do for the rest of the year? That's a good question. So I was thinking, actually, I was thinking on the weekend about what I should, um, uh, where, where do I want my day-by-day -day playthroughs to go? And I, uh, I think I need to get back to the Elder Scrolls. Yeah. Well, if I get a new computer, I'll be able to continue, um, Battle Spar, but I don't have the time now. Here's my plan, and it's a, it's like a long fucking plan, so hear me out. It is, um, so, uh, Morrowind, The Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind, uh, that starts, or, uh, in, actually, all the game. Morrowind, uh, I don't know about Daggerfall. When does Dag Daggerfall starts the, the, on the beginning of January? What about Arena? Arena starts either January or, I think, Halfire. Because we, we started both of those games at the beginning of the year. No, we didn't. We didn't start Arena. When did we start Arena? I think we started Arena in August. Whatever, anyway. Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim all start in August. Really? Yeah. If I remember correctly, uh, Morrowind is like the 17th of August. Uh, yeah, you know what? I can't remember the others. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But, yeah, it's all August, which is interesting. Uh, I'm sure as shit not going to do Morrowind this year. I'm not I'm not doing a, a, a day by day playthrough of Morrowind and a day by day playthrough of LSD at the same time. But what I'd like to do is finish uh, LSD. Uh, yeah, obviously until the end of the year. And then uh, we might pass the time... With freaking Battlespire and Red Guard Adventure. 
<laughs> until or I do maybe do something else if, if time permits it uh, until August next year and then do Morrowind now who knows how long it'll actually take to finish Morrowind but if it's under a year then the following year in August we can start Oblivion and do Oblivion and then if we finish that in a year the following year which at this point would be uh, 19, 18, 2020, we could do Skyrim. And I was actually thinking about doing a day-by-day -day playthrough of Skyrim VR. Because um, it'll be dirt cheap by then, you yeah. know. And that... By, uh, by then, freaking Old Scrolls 6 will be out, probably. Oh, it's quite quite possible, yeah. You do a day by day play through that? I wonder about doing a day by day play through of a Okay, hold on, stop, 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 stop. You were just about to say I don't know about doing a day by day playthrough of an Elder Scrolls game like from fresh. With the exception of Skyrim, which you haven't actually done a day by day playthrough of all the games you've done day by day playthroughs of including persona 5 have been the first time you've played them that's true even um even this yeah but yeah uh, arena and Daggerfall were both uh your first time playing the games the only exception to this would be, uh, well, obviously Skyrim, I've played the shit out of it. Uh, but Oblivion, I did start it, and I forget how much I got into it. I think I got into the story, the story, I got far enough of the story that you go through the first Oblivion portal. And then, I stopped. Um, so I, don't, I, I, I basically know, like, the tutorial dungeon. That's really all I can remember from that. Um, and then, so that, that's 20, 2020, right? So then 2020, uh, 20, 2021, I don't know. And then 2022 will be Persona 5. <laughs> mm. Wait, say that again? What? 2020, August 2020 is when Skyrim would start. Assuming all these games only take a year to play, right? Yeah, of course. Um, and then, wait, 2020, yeah, so, so you'd have, like, a year and a bit, basically, yeah. You'd have until August 2021. Well, you, no, you've actually got a bit more than that, because the persona doesn't start until April. That's true. And then we can play episode 5. Yay. <laughs> In 2022. Just like you planned. Anyway. So, I don't know. And this, is all, this is all speculation based on the fact, based on the um, assumption that each game will take a year to play, like Daggerfall did. To be fair, bro, Daggerfall is a big fucking game. <laughs> And I'm not just talking about the story content. I'm talking about the time it takes to get from point A to point B. Either walking or on a horse. That's true. How, how quickly did we get a horse in that game? We had a horse, like, within the first 20 episodes, for sure. It was, it was, it was a essential piece of equipment. And if I remember correctly, it didn't really cost that much either. Um, what, a thousand gold? Um, I'm not sure. Skyrim was like a thousand gold. I forget how much it was in Daggerfall. But anyway. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. As far as I'm aware, I, I'm pretty sure... Because I've seen speedruns of... I don't know about Oblivion, but I've seen speedruns of Morrowind. Where you just finish the game in like five minutes or something. Of course, that's using some, uh, not not cheating, but doing doing things that aren't like 
the way you're supposed to play the game and stuff, but, you know. <sighs> Alright, well, um... What's up? What's up? I don't know. I'm thinking. He's thinking. Uh, well, I looked I looked at, like, how long to beat, right, for some of these games. But how long to beat isn't an accurate representation for day-by-day -day purposes. Because it's not about the time, it's about how many days it takes. Because, yeah. like... Mm, well, how, how long is a day in Marwind? I actually don't know. If I remember correctly, Daggerfall was, uh, two hours was a day. Yes, that's right. Um, let's have a look. You know, while I am having a look, since people are probably bored, I'm going to mute my TV. Back out, do a flashback, sure why not. <laughs> um. What, what am I looking for? Uh. How long is a day in Mowing? It says one hour equals thirty hours. Really? Time scale by default is set to 30. That means that for one hour in real life, 30 hours will pass in game. So a full game day is 45 minutes real time. Huh. Okay. You can change this setting easily if you want. I wonder if I should do that. What? 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 No, okay, I'm just thinking, because 48 minutes is a full day. Whew, that's a long time, man. That's, those are long episodes, buddy. I don't know. I don't know, man. Wait, I just So you can change it to... Can you change it one to one? Set time scale to X, where X is the time scale you want. Set time scale to 15, would mean you get 15 game hours for one more hour. After doing this stuff again. Can you, I wonder if you can, can you really set it to one to one? Wouldn't that be weird? Set it, set it to one to one and then leave the game running, like, constantly. Like, leave it on all the time. So you'd come back, and it would be the time that it is in real life. Mm. I don't know about that. It sounds, it sounds like a fun... I've always, I've always been interested in that kind of idea. Like, whenever I played uh, GTA 2, it always had the... And, and, dri and the driver games, too, for that matter. They always had the setting for playing in the daytime... Or playing it at night time. Or sometimes even playing at like dusk. And I'd always want to set it to the time that it was. Recent, more recently with the Yaxa games. Playing in premium adventure mode. Yeah, you can do yeah morning or daytime. Uh, dusk and night time. And I always set it to whatever time I'm playing the game. It's more fun that way. Um, but... If it was one to one, right, and like I start playing the game at 6 a.m. and I play the game for two hours, so it's 8 a.m. and then I save the game and, and go to, uh, do something, right? And then uh, I come back at like 8 p.m., load up the game, and it's still 8 a.m. That would be kind of weird. Yeah, I want it to. I want it to be the time that it is in real life. Oh, there's a car crash. Yeah, which unfortunately is not easy to do. Unless, like you said, you left the game on all the time. Which would work. Kind of. Even for the purposes of your day-by-day -day playthrough, it would work. Because you could just, um... Yeah, you could just, um... Do that, and just record... 
each day by day episode as much as you want, basically. Just go go as uh, like depending on how busy you are. Just go as much as you can. It's like, okay. Well, we're done for today. I'm just gonna save the game, even though it's pointless, and then leave the game running. Hmm. It's a it's gonna be interesting actually, playing the newer Elder Scrolls games, because Arena. Well, Arena was like a whole another fucking kettle of fish, but Daggerfall was a point where a lot of the day. Most of the time, a lot of the day was taken up um, traveling from one place to the other. But at the same time, you could rest, and resting would heal you, and, and that was important. I don't know how it works in Morrowind. I assume you can rest in Morrowind. Right? But see, you can sleep in Skyrim, but it's completely pointless. Yeah. Because in Skyrim, your health, like, regenerates. Anyway... Let's, let's, okay, so bef- you know, 48 minutes isn't actually that bad. Yeah, it's manageable. How long is a day in Oblivion? That's more Oblivion. There you go. What do you got? Doesn't say. Alright, well, I'm doing this now, so... This is not, if this is not the content you want to listen to, then uh, I'll see you next time. This is what we're doing now. One minute is 30 minutes game time. Huh? Huh. Oh, different people have different ideas. One person says that an hour is, well, a, a day is 48 minutes, which is the same as Marwin. And then another guy says, twenty four minutes. And then someone posted a link. The concept of time and oblivion. So let's go to that link. How do you do that? I forgot. Shit. <laughs> go to your internet. Open up a new tab. Put the URL in. Yeah. Okay, time and oblivion is measured in different ways. Most of us measure based on elapsed time, but others are measured based on real time. Hmm. Game passes faster than real time by a factor of 30. One minute real time is 30 minutes real time. Game time. The game clock can be seen in your journal. Time is measured using standard 24 hour time. Yada yada yada. Sunrise, sunset. What is real time? Real time passes continuously while you are in game. If you bring up the menu to take a break, the game's engine real time counter is still ticking. This includes bringing up loading or save screens. Huh. An easy way around this is to fast travel. Oh, okay. Use the wait key to quickly view the time. No, pause again. Let's go back without actually waiting. Oh, okay, so the, okay, there's, a, there's a wait key. What does that do? So it's 1 to 30, which is what they said before, but... Wait, one minute... I gotta wait a One If one minute is 30 minutes... Yeah. Then... 
the same, isn't it? Is it? One hour. Are you sure? Uh, I don't care. Okay. Uh, tell me about the weight key. And how does it work? Keep in mind that we're looking at oblivion right now. That's true. Where's the weight key? Where is it? Wait. Does it actually say what it does? <laughs> Thanks for your useless information. Um. Also, know how how I'm gonna actually play that game. I could, I could play it on the Xbox, but my Xbox is probably fucked. Uh, I haven't actually tried it since that last time. I recorded a bunch of first fifteen videos. Um. I can play it on a PC. Hopefully, my new PC will be strong enough to to play it. God, I hope my new PC is actually much better than my old one. Uh, anyway, one more thing I wanted to look at, which is go back to Google. And then change Oblivion to Scarlet. That basically means that for all of these games, it might be, yeah, 48 minutes is a day. Oof. Nope, Skyrim's different. Oh, okay. As I understand it, by default, it passes 20 times per time. One minute represents 20 minutes. And a day is one hour and 12 minutes. Really? That's not cool. Um, that would be bad because that game you really don't have to sleep at all you do get some bonuses don't you yeah but you only have to sleep for like an hour to get the bonus mm. it's not very realistic either mm. well I don't know Okay, 72 minutes is a full day, which, that's what they said, one hour and, oh, God. Um, um, well, this is, this is, uh, this is a topic for another time, sure, but an hour and 12 minutes. Not only that, but it's going to be in VR. <laughs> an hour and 12 minutes of VR a day. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about that. Mm, me neither. You might need to think about something there because there are times when I have less than an hour to record. Um. Like today, today is fine. Thursday is fine. Well, for 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 now, unless my work changes. Wednesday is fine. Monday's fine if I get out of bed. Sunday's fine. Uh, Friday could be a problem, potentially. Depends on the day. Tuesday's pretty... Uh, I don't know about Tuesday. Could be okay, could be not good. <laughs> okay. And then Saturday's kind of fucked. Mm, really... You might, we, we might end up, like, recording Saturday, Sunday together. I mean, what, what, I, what I mean is, you might end up having to record Saturday's episode, like, Sunday morning. Yeah. And then uploading it. Something like that. Yeah, but, alright, well, anyway. That's enough conjecture. I mean, 40, 40, yeah, 48 minutes is, like, manageable. But an hour and twelve, that's a bit much. Because it's an extra thirty minutes, right? Yeah. It makes a difference. 
I'd really like episodes to be under, you know, 30 minutes or something like that. I know, I know. That's the problem when you play a game that is literally time-based. Yeah. Unlike Persona, where... Uh, the time, the day will, the day will continue, the will go on as soon as you decide to go on, you know. I mean, the same can be said for the Elder Scrolls games. You just say, okay, I'm going to go to sleep for the next 15 minutes. I mean, uh, 15 hours. See you tomorrow. Kind of thing. Yeah, I guess. We'll see, we'll see. This is all, this is all topics for another time. And, uh, we don't even know how, um, we're, we're not fast traveling. No, I know that. But, like, okay, the thing, one of the things I did in Dagger for, when I wasn't having, like, two-hour episodes, yeah, to be fair, my, uh, Dagger 4 was the worst two-hour episodes, man. That's true. It was literally the worst. Yeah. Um, anyway, what about, what about Arena? What about Arena? What about Arena? How long was the day in Arena? I don't remember. Maybe the same? So it's better then. It is. I mean, two, two hours is... <clears throat> Go kill yourself. Um, <laughs> essentially. If you're playing Skyrim on the PC, which I probably won't be because my system's not going to be strong enough. Hmm, that's true. Anyway, anyway, the point I'm trying to make here is um, that in Dagger Fall, a lot of the times I'd be like, okay, I'd, go, I'd start the episode at a dungeon, right? And it wasn't even the beginning of the day because it was like whenever I arrived at that location from the last place I was at. And then we'd do the dungeon, which wouldn't take too long, depending on the dungeon, and then I'd be like, okay, I'm going to move to the next place that I need to go to, um, I'll leave now, I'll end the episode now, and then, uh, like, without, like, um, off video, off camera, rather, I would just be running on my horse through the countryside, and then I'd get there, like, the next day, early morning, or, or late night, and then I'd do an episode like that. That's kind of how it worked back then. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work here. We're just going to have to wait and see, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, well, we come back tomorrow. We'll be playing some more LSD. But for now, my name is Leo, and I'll see you next time.